Winter Bridge, which is the first significant corner on the circuit, really, after the start and finish. Not one of my favourite places, actually. It's one of the very slow corners on the circuit. There's about four of them in all. Um, and I just don't like slow corners on the Isle of Man circuit. They're the ones that tend to catch you out, especially on the first lap when you've got a full, full tank of fuel on and the bike seems to be very top-heavy. From Quarter Bridge, we're going down the road, down towards Braddon Bridge, after Braddon Bridge Union Mills, through Crosby, through the Highlander, Greba Castle, Greba Bridge, and then down into, into Ballacrane. That section of the circuit, which I think is about eight, eight and a half miles, is most probably the smoothest part of the circuit. Um, and it's one where you can make up the most time with a fast bike. Here we are now at Ballacrane. Um, this is the place where George Formby went through the pub door in the film No Limit, of course. From Ballacrane, we have the stretch all the way to Ballath Bridge. And now the circuit really starts to get interesting. Very twisty and windy, a lot of bends. Slow ones, fast ones, all types of bends. It's where a, an experienced TT rider can make up a lot of time over someone with a little less experience. Here we are at Ballath Bridge, which is possibly one of the most exciting parts of the course for spectators. As you can see, there's quite a hump on the bridge there. And taking anything over about 30 miles an hour, you get quite a leap. And at, at racing speeds, I suppose we're taking it at about 70, 60, 70 miles an hour. From now on in, we go into Ramsey, which is about another eight miles up the road. We've got the Sylvie section, Sylvie Bridge, and then on, to, on, on into Ramsey. Um, very, very fast from now on in, really. There's only a couple of slow corners. Most of it's quite fast work. Here we are now at Parliament Square in Ramsey. And all we've got left now is the mountain climb before we get back to the start and finish. And the mountain climb, of course, is the part that gives the mountain circuit its name. It climbs up onto the top of Snay Fell, over the bungalow, and then down towards, back down towards the start and finish. Here we are now at the final commentary point on the TT circuit, which is the bungalow. And as I said before, this is the highest point on the circuit. Behind you, you can see Snay Fell, and on down the road, we go over to Brandywell, down to the uh, to Windy Corner, Keppel Gate, and then the steep drop down to Craigna Bar. Of course, it's not very far from here now, back to the start and finish, and on the last lap of the, of the race, this is where you start to get worried about fuel, to hoping you've done your homework all right, and you're going to get back to the start and finish OK. Almost the final corner on the TT circuit, signpost corner. This is the place where you really start to worry. If you're lucky enough to be in the lead on the last lap, there's only two miles between you and the finish. But this is what the TT circuit's all about. 